Trinity Minosa, the Cuban Comet, really breaking the barriers as well as the first black Latino player here in the major leagues and for the Chicago White Sox to come out here tonight. And I know you live here in Chicago, but to get the reception on civil rights game, what did that mean to you? Well, this is something I never dreamed before. It could be happy because I don't know nothing about it. And now that I'll be in, I enjoy it. They do the right thing in the right time and the right place. And matter of fact, when uh, Luther King started, it was in 1963. I would play for Washington. And I have the opportunity to see him and meet him. But uh, I never think that today or sooner or later I'm going to be active in something like that and benefit from the whole war because it's not just for the United States. I think it's for the whole war. It's great. I enjoy it very much. And obviously the treatment was a lot different when you played, when you made the transitions from the Negro Leagues to Major League Baseball. What was the difference in the way you were treated than some of your fellow Cuban countrymen? Well, truly, I put it this way. To me, I was black in Cuba. I was a black in the United States. And I was in black anywhere I go. To me, I don't look at the nationality. I look at the human. So I'm black and everywhere I would go. They said, no, you're not black. You're Cuban. I said, what, what color are you? I don't have any other color, black. So when we started, and I followed through, like a Jackie, so I used to follow through the same way. Because I don't be able to stay in those places where the black not be able. I cannot stay with the same place, with the same thing. I have to go to a black neighbor. That's me, no matter if I was born in Cuba, or was born in Africa, or whatever it is. I was never a black guy. But I never look at and let those things bother me. I always look a human being. I never look for color. I look for you human. And you right, you right. If you not uh, right, I watch the way you are. But I'm not looking for color. I used to be here, and I used to do the same thing that they used to have the law. I respect the law. When I used to go to Maryland, I don't stay with the team. When I was playing Dayton, it's a uh, class A, my first year, minor league. So I could have stayed with a guy over there in, in Indiana. I remember we played there, and when the boss left the other players, I had to, I had to stay in the bus. And I put it drop in all the suitcases. They drive me out to the black neighbor. Some people in the house let me stay. We stay three days, I would stay there. I eat and sleep there, three days. And I remember the bad boy, to pick it out of the bag, he throw the chopper. I hear you have a black, I hear you have a black, black, black bad boy. Up there, he said, bad boy, we don't have it. He is one of the best players we have. He said, many you hear that, I said, I don't know how to speak English. Whatever he said, that's okay. So that's me. It's not bother me, honey. I always used to get my uniform, respect to anybody else, and do my duty. And right now, I feel the same way. And you see, I enjoy it. If I would be this guy who jump over there and fight, probably remember that. Sure, they used to call me name, and the pitcher used to call me name, and hit me in purpose. And the manager used to say, knock this black so-so down. This is Jimmy Dyke, the manager for Philadelphia. <laughs> they used to do it. And I used to pick the ball, and the pitcher hollered me, hey, leave the ball alone. And I said, you cannot hit me with this garbage. And I throw the ball like that. But I don't fight. Well, the majors have come a long way, Minnie. Thank you so much for your time. A true pioneer. And as he said, guys, a human being.